Hey everybody, this is uh, your man Kevin Johnson, Marketing Director over at jmailtaylor.com. I'm sitting here with uh, my boss, my, my main man, uh, the man behind the method, the method behind the man. Did I say that right? They said it right. Uh, <laughs> what's up, Jamie? Uh, Jeremy, how you doing, man? I'm doing okay. How about yourself? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Just uh, wanted to pull you out for a second and kind of just uh, bring you out, bring you out to the people and let the people uh, get a a sense of who you are as the CEO and founder of uh, jmailtaylor.com and what you're all about and what the company is all about and the messages and some of the things that uh, you convey whenever you purchase or you partner with uh, jmailtaylor.com. Um, just, I just wanted to talk for a moment about why you started jmailtaylor.com and uh, the story, your story or your journey about uh, jmailtaylor.com and where it came from. Why did you start uh, this company to begin with? Well, Jmail Taylor was actually something that has actually been in the works for at least uh, 10 years. Yeah. Uh, something that I was been very passionate about uh, with clothing, men's clothing. Uh, I've always uh, looked up to my mother and my father. That's the one who actually gave me the backbone of fashion. Mm -hmm. uh, I've always seen my my mom, my, actually my father uh, dressed up in suits and ties wherever where he worked at. Uh, so he gave me the foundation. Then with my mother, my mother actually was the one who actually dressed myself and uh, my brothers as well. Uh, so fashion has always been in a, a critical uh, part of my uh, of my life. Uh, I thought with fashion, it always com com uh, conveyed. Uh, a certain image and uh, my mother and father always wanted us to convey an uh, image of, of authority and I think that's just something that was always in, incorporated in, in myself and also with my brothers okay so you know from an early from an early age you've been groomed and you've been trained uh, in the art of being fashionable and, and uh, being mindful of your appearance that's correct Okay, so and it just I guess naturally it just kind of just uh, carried over into um, you. It just naturally carried over into your adult life to where we you now find yourself running and actually starting and running and uh, uh, maintaining a uh, vibrant and and popular and growing company uh, amongst men's fashion and men's wear. So. Um, so that's that's very interesting in that uh, you started it because you saw you were trained that way, and then when you got older, you actually seen the power of um, fashion and style and how that really affects how people uh, see you and perceive you. So, yes. I mean, that, that's a that's a very uh, powerful, um, very powerful uh, journey. Um, so, what are some so what are some results that you've noticed? Uh, over you know over the time that you've uh, started jmailtaylor.com and uh, get into the whole male and men fashion world how has that uh, affected you uh, uh, growing up and in your uh, going from boyhood to manhood i've always well thought that with, with fashion it gives you a sense of uh, confidence mm -hmm. um, mm. uh, i know when i was even 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 younger uh, i know I was when I was going to actually high school, uh, it was a certain way I dressed, and some of my peers, uh, I liked the way that I actually dressed. Yeah. And I remember it was a certain times where we would have like uh, certain days where be uh, uh, designated for a certain day, be like, well, dress down uh, Thursday or dress up Wednesday, but it was just certain days that, uh, or we say Paisley Paisley Monday or something. It, it was something that we was actually. Uh, convey to my peers that hey, uh, we want to dress, dress like I'm not saying being confident or uh, actually arrogant about it, dress like Jeremy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it was just something that it was always about being a, a trendsetter and actually being trying to be different and unique about yourself. Yeah. That I've always felt as though with the way you certain dress, it some sometimes it, co it conveys a certain level of of confidence about yourself. Okay, so I'm definitely hearing a couple a couple of themes in that it made you stand out. Yeah. People automatically kind of look to you as a leader yeah. and a trendsetter, as you said, yeah. and uh, it conveyed that you were you know, you were confident and that you convey you convey the message that you were powerful and that 
that you were very passionate about uh, your your being and about living. So, man, that that's that's a very powerful testimony, and that's a very interesting journey. Yeah, don't uh, be normal. Don't, be, don't normal. be normal. Yeah, don't be normal. I'll try to step out the box a little bit. Don't be scared to step out the box. Wow, that's a powerful statement given the culture we live in. Because one of the things I'm noticing is that. Uh, there's a lot of puppets out there and there's a lot of people who are styling themselves uh, just because they've been led or or uh, I guess for lack of better terms brainwashed to, to dress a certain way yeah. um, but it's you know one of the things I've noticed about the company when I joined was you are very uh, adamant about making sure that everybody um, uh, develops their own style and that they're uh, with regard to uh, some basic foundational principles uh, uh, dealing with fashion. Mm -hmm. But from those basic foundational principles, everybody should have their own unique style and be trendsetters in their own right. Wow, so that's a very powerful statement coming from Jeremy Phillips, CEO and founder of uh, jmilltaylor.com. Just wanted to pull him out of the dungeons, out of the the uh, office of uh, officiating. <laughs> Yeah. As marketing director, and get him out here in front of us and just kind of uh, talk to us and let us know about jmilltaylor.com and what uh, the brand is all about. Yeah, I like being around the people anyway. Yeah, uh, like yeah. People. Yeah, and, and, I, and uh, that's one of the things I noticed about the environment of being over at the company of uh, jmilltaylor.com is that you run a very relaxed, open um, atmosphere that uh, you know gives it gives everybody space to be who they are. Yeah, we ain't in the box. We ain't in the box. We out of the box. We <laughs> well, out of the so box. is that why? Is that why you don't have no cubicles over in the, yeah, in the place? No cubicles. <laughs> but I notice you still keep the whip out, so I know uh, you you are very, you make sure stuff gets done. Uh, it's all about being professional. <laughs> So this is uh, Kevin, marketing director over at jmilltaylor.com, here with uh, CEO and founder Jeremy Phillips. And uh, we look forward to talking to you guys uh, a little later on. Thank you. Mm-hmm.